What's up everyone, I'm Andrew from Apple Insider, and I'm willing to bet most of you out there know exactly what these are. And today, at least for beta users, these things got a massive update. Today we are going to walk through the new spatial audio feature for AirPods Pro, what it means, what it can do, what it can do in the future, and we're going to also look at the instant switching feature uh, going between all of your devices. So you pick up your iPhone, your iPad, your Mac, whatever it is that you're using, instantly jumping your AirPods between them all, how that works, how seamless it is, uh, and what you need to try this out for yourself. So spatial audio is a new feature for AirPods Pro. And the instant switching feature comes to the second generation AirPods, I believe, and allows you to jump between all of your devices. But both of these new features require Apple's latest updates, ones that aren't really out yet. They're all still in beta, but it'll be the same once these things are finally released. So you need something like iPadOS 14, iOS 14, or macOS Big Sur. Assuming you have some of those updates, you can try these features out for yourself. Aside from the latest updates to iOS 14, you need the latest update for your AirPods. It's really easy to get this update. There's not much you have to do. It's done automatically. Anytime these connect to your AirPods uh, and your AirPods are actually in their case, it'll go ahead and try to do that update. You can't really force it to do it anyway. There's no like button, but just open these up, put them on your charger, make sure they're connected to your phone, and then update should go through. So first up is spatial audio. Now to check out spatial audio for yourself, we can go ahead and put in our AirPods Pro here. What you gotta do is go open your phone, go down into control center, and if you go into your audio settings there, you're gonna notice a new button down at the bottom. Now noise control, which is split up into transparency mode and noise canceling mode, is now a button on the left, and on the right hand side, you see a new button for spatial audio. So you can turn that on or off if you don't happen to like the feature, but it also gives you a good way to test out that feature and hear the difference between spatial audio being on versus off. When spatial audio is on, you're gonna get basic features that you'd expect from spatial audio. Things like support for Dolby Atmos. If you watch a movie or a TV show that supports Dolby Atmos on your phone, you're immediately gonna hear that difference. You're gonna hear things coming from above you, behind you, all around you, thanks to that 3D spatial audio. But Apple's done even more. It tracks both your head movement as well as the audio source, your phone movement. So you're watching a movie. Say you're checking out the latest episode of Ted Lasso. You have your phone in front of you and you turn your head. Now, normally your audio kind of moves with you. So as you turn your head, the audio source is kind of just kind of panning around. It's coming into your ears. But with spatial audio, you'll actually hear the audio staying in place. It's like you're standing in the room and Ted Lasso is talking right there in front of you. And as you turn your head, Ted Lasso is staying where he is. He's still talking right there. It's an incredible effect. You can turn your head and you can hear the audio from the dialogue coming to your right ear, move your head to the right, and you can hear it coming in your left ear. It is incredibly cool to experience. But on top of that, it also works if you move your phone around. So say your head is staying still, but you move your phone up here, you move your phone up here, wherever it is that you're moving that audio source, you can hear the audio following it. It is incredibly cool how Apple pulled this off and it sounds amazing. And you guys seriously have to just try this for yourself to experience because I can't demo this in a video. I can't, you can't hear what I'm hearing in my head, but it's incredibly cool and it works incredibly well with this new update. So boom, have your phone there. You can move your phone, move your head and then audio stores stays the same. It follows the source around and it's just really amazing to experience. And then we also have instant switching. So let's go ahead and try this out for ourselves. I've got my iPhone, I got my iPad, let's connect our AirPods, and I'll show you how that instant, instant switching feature works. Okay, so here we are, we've got my iPad, and I've gone into settings, and I manually connect my AirPods Pro, uh, a little fuzzy down there, but I have connected my AirPods Pro to my iPad Pro, you can see them in the settings there. Now, all we're gonna do, watch how easy this is, tap out of there, I'm gonna take my phone, I'm gonna lift it up here, and you can already see that my AirPods Pro were connected. I can jump in here, um, maybe go back over to the TV app, jump into my episode of Ted Lasso, and this is already playing on my AirPods. Sorry, this isn't AirPods Pro or <laughs> Ted Lasso, this is Murder on the Orient Express, but still, pulling right there from my AirPods Pro, I didn't have to do anything. I literally just went from my iPad, picked up my phone, and it immediately switched over. It was so quick and seamless. I just love how easy this instant switching is. I'm gonna be addicted to this. This is so much better than having to deal with those menus every single time. 
instant switching on AirPods Pro, an absolute win. So what do you guys think? I am so excited. Instant switching is amazing. It is so fast, so effortless. No longer do you have to go into those menus to pair your devices every single freaking time you want to switch between your iPhone, your Mac, your iPad. It's just so quick, so easy to do. On top of that, we have spatial audio, which is just a completely different experience. It works so well, and I'm I'm just impressed by it uh, completely. So I'm really excited for both these new features, and I'm stoked that all of you beta testers out there can use them now. But once iOS 14 is released, you will try these for yourself uh, alongside iPad OS and Mac OS Big Sur. These are all coming in the very near future. So let me know down below in the comments, do you have your AirPods Pro? Have you tried the new spatial audio and instant switching features? Let me know over on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. And if you somehow don't have a set of AirPods Pro, grab some. We have the links down below in the description for the best prices around.